right now, we bring to you live from Arizona, I do believe, Texas Rangers pitcher Cole Reagans. Good morning, sir. How's it going? We're doing really good. Now, are you pitching today? Yes, sir. A okay. little later on in the day. Well, I want to thank you for doing this interview then because we have always been told when we're in the clubhouse – do not talk to a pitcher sitting on that couch if they're pitching that day. Is that accurate <laughs> that you don't want to talk to a pitcher the day that they're pitching? So, I mean, it just kind of, I feel like it depends on who the guy is. Some guys don't like it. Some guys don't mind it. It just kind of depends. So you go out today and let's say, Kevin, was it Ventura that we saw pitch seven innings or yes. eight innings of yes. uh, clean baseball? You go out there and pitch today and you get, I don't know, maybe six innings in and it's oh, like wow. perfect game. Does that mean you say, I got to go on with KNC every day before I pitch? Are you that superstitious? <laughs> I try not to be that superstitious. What is like, what do you think is the one thing that you're like, man, I, I do have to consistently get this the day before I pitch? Uh, clean shave. Clean, except for the mustache, or? Except for the mustache, yeah. I, I shave the night before. Does it, does it just make you feel more confident, more <laughs> powerful? What's the, what's the story? I don't know. I just feel like it's like I'm cleaned up. I'm ready to go. That's the rule, Kevin. Whenever I, whenever I was playing, that was the rule, too. Our coach was like, guys, you do not shave on game day. All right, He was like, you shave the night before, but you do not shave on game day. And I was like, coach, I am literally in sixth grade. Why are you telling me this right now? <laughs> this makes zero sense, but I never shaved on game day. Well, and, and one of the reasons we bring this up, Cole, is we had conversations in the past about – what makes you feel uber confident? So, like, for my co-host, it was having a full tank of gas. Mm -hmm. For me, it was having a fully charged cell phone. Yes. And it sounds like perhaps for you, it's being clean shaven. Yeah, I mean, I, it's literally I've done it since high school. Like, every night before I'd throw, I'd, I'd clean shave. <laughs> so when you say you're not superstitious, you're a little stitious. A little stitious. A, a little. I try, <laughs> I try not to be so superstitious to where it's a problem that makes sense now now like where do you you talk to boats you have uh, or maddox and kind of get a good idea of where you are with this club right now or is this hey look i'm proving myself every time i get on the hill and, and maybe i can get into the rotation what are you feeling from this right now uh, i mean i'm just i'm going out there and just trying to compete every time i throw i mean i i don't know i i haven't been told anything i don't know anything so every time i go out there it's I'm going to give it all I got and try to make the team any way I can. Have you had a moment so far that – oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, that's that's it. Have you had a moment so far that you were like, man, I really I really wanted to pitch against this guy and I got him out? Mm, not necessarily. Like you mean like last year and in spring this year? Yeah, sure, yeah, for sure. Um. No, I mean, obviously, all the big names in baseball, you get to face them. And if you get them out, it's, you know, pretty awesome just because you've watched them for so long. But nobody, nobody in particular. Have you had much of an opportunity to stay in the loop on the World Baseball Classic, or is that just not viable considering all the preparations you're making for the season? No, I mean, I watch it when I go home, like in the, in the afternoon and – what I usually watch a like a little over half of the Team USA game, and then I end up going to bed. But because they've been that? playing at like seven seven o'clock this time, so. And then for people who don't know, out in Arizona, you're in a magical land where the time does not change. It is a weird thing. And yeah. the rest of the country does change. How, is that odd at all in Arizona when the time stays the same, but if you're calling other people, it's now a different time that you're calling them. <sighs> You just have to, I have to like tell myself like, oh, you know, my mom or dad, it's like I'm calling them at like four thirty, five o'clock, which is like, I don't know, you know, it's just normal afternoon here. But and I got to remember, it's like eight thirty there, eight <laughs> o'clock there. You're like, what are you, what are you getting for dinner? And like, but, we already ate, Cole. But do you think Arizona, yeah. <laughs> does Arizona have it right where they're like, you know what, the time is the time. Like we're just <laughs> staying with the time where it is and we're not shifting things around twice a year. Yeah, I, well, I heard that they're going to try to get rid of time change. Yes. Like, yeah. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I've heard. 
They have been working on that for some time. So if I put you in the voting booth, are you voting for no more time change or keep the time changes? No more time change. I like it. I'm in on that. I man. support that idea as well. Now, I, I, I know we're talking with Cole Reagans right here on 105.3 The Fan. I know, obviously, a lot has been made about the velocity and everything, but I'm curious this spring, what have you thought about your the movement on your pitches and location and everything like that? Because, obviously, that is a humongous part of your progression as well. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I feel comfortable. Like, last year, curveball was kind of a, a – something I was taking into the offseason that I really wanted to work on to where I could actually use it to throw for strikes, you know, feel comfortable with it to throw it whenever I need to throw it. And I feel, you know, I've gotten a lot more comfortable with it throughout the offseason and into spring training. It, it, it feels great. I mean, change-up's still there. Change-up still feels good. Um, my my goal wasn't to, you know, try to gain Z oil this offseason. It was to try to work on my mechanics and be able to command everything. But the velo is definitely a plus. It helps. So. A, a lot of people around here are very familiar with your story and the struggles that you've had going through, you know, minor league with the injuries and everything like that. I was, I was kind of hoping that you could give us some insight because we don't get this opportunity too often is – how, how tough was it physically recovering from the injuries versus the mental aspect of recovering from the injuries? So the first time wasn't first time wasn't bad. I mean, everybody goes through it, you know, once for the most part. A lot of people have had it, so it wasn't bad. But the second time was way more ment on the mental side than the physical side, like just mentally draining that I had just gone through fourteen months of of what I was about to have to go through another, you know, 18 months of because it was my second one. So it was definitely more mentally taxing than physically. Physically, it's like you get to work out and stuff. Once you Or once you get to work out, it kind of helps because then it's like I have something to get my mind off of me just sitting here in rehab. It's like I can work out for a little bit, like do all that kind of stuff. Is there is there any part of your mind that goes to a place where like I might not ever be able to play baseball again, or do you have to like immediately cut any thought of that off? I mean, definitely have days like that. Like there was definitely days where I was like, I don't. I mean, I'm not throwing yet, but I mean, what if the same thing happens again? You know, if thoughts like that start popping into your head, but at the end of the day, it's kind of who you surround yourself with. Like I had a good, great group of you know, rehab staff, a great group of guys in rehab that kind of, you know, we all were essentially going through the same thing. So kind of pushed each other to get out of the, the funk that, that we would fall into sometimes. Safe to say y'all are each other's biggest cheerleaders then? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, man, I, I'll tell you this. I know a lot of the – pitching has been something as Rangers fans for us. We've been kind of dying for it for a long time, and we're really excited for you for this season. Everybody in in, uh, in Arlington, DFW area, we're all pulling for you to do something. Absolutely. Uh, do something really fun, man. We'll all be out there uh, keeping an eye on you. And if you go out there today and pitch great, don't forget that you got to call come back on with us again before you pitch, all right? <laughs> Sounds good. I appreciate it.